Welcome to Quizlam for Co.uk. This podcast will be looking at making hyperlinks from your text uh, elements on your web page uh, to link to another page on your website or to uh, link to an external website. First thing we need to do is work in CSS or uh, HTML table format. Doesn't really make any difference. Uh, and I'm just going to paste some text in uh, onto this page. Now on this text I've got a web address and I want to make that uh, linkable so I just need to highlight the text code and then go to the edit menu and go down to hyperlink and there you can see I can instantly connect to another page on the website because I've got two pages on this website so if I wanted it to connect to it uh, I could go there but I want to connect to an external website so I then say what kind of uh, website is it so it's an HTTP site and I just type in the address that I want it to link to. I can then decide do I want it to be on a uh, refresh the page that I'm on or do I want it to go to a new blank page so I'm going to choose blank for that and then click OK. So the text has now turned blue which is a traditional color for hypertext and let's preview it in the browser. And there it is. So that becomes hot swappable and it now will make a new tab and we'll visit uh, my website. And we'll get rid of that. So got a, a instant link going on there. So So it's easy to make links. You can change all the fonts and the colour of it uh, if you wish. Uh, and you can change uh, any elements on there. Now if you've got a web page which is particularly difficult and for this page I'm going to make the background colour into a blue then the text link disappears and it becomes difficult to read. So what I can do here is to change it to a different colour. So I'm going to have the normal one be in white and when it's visited it will be yellow and when I hover over it to make it interactive uh, we're going to choose another colour so we we'll choose a very light red for that and when it's active you could go to another one so if it's on a menu that's appearing on any screen uh, and we we'll put that in cyan. So once we do that when we preview this page in the browser again it the links will all be in different colours and you will get a rollover effect happening with it at the same time. So you can stick to the standard blue which is a good guide if it looks visible enough and clear enough but if you want to change the colours because of a background, black backgrounds are normally the ones you need to change, uh, then you can just go in to the page menu in the inspector and change all the colours from there and that will control the link colours on any hyperlink in your website. So visit me at www.chrislinfordco.uk or you can find me on iTunes or YouTube.